We've released PHP Storm 20.2. In this video, we'll take a quick look at some of its most exciting features. The upcoming PHP 8 will come with full support for union types and PHP Storm 2020.2 already supports them. A union type accepts values of several different types instead of just one type. Previously, you could only specify them for a class property, function argument, or return type using PHP doc. That was pretty much it, because union types were not supported on the language level. To take a look at the support PHP Storm now has for union types, let's go to Preferences, Languages and Frameworks, PHP, and set PHP language level to 8. Notice that as soon as we do this, PHP Storm highlights much of our code. We can use the Alt Enter Quick Fix to convert annotations into the actual union type declarations. Now all the necessary information is already contained in our code, so the PHP doc comments look redundant. Let's use Alt Enter again to get rid of them. With natively declared union types, PHP Storm will analyze calls and highlight problematic areas so you can take the required action to fix them. What's more, the provided type declarations are checked for errors too. For example, you can clean up redundant types such as bool or false or fool or object, remove unsupported types such as void, or streamline declarations for nullable types. When you work with inherited classes, PHP Storm will make sure that the type declarations for properties, method parameters, and return types correctly follow the variance rules. This release brings a redesigned control flow engine. PHP Storm will now understand your code better and can help you find more potential problems. In this code, the function is set to return the value of the variable if the condition evaluates to true. But if the execution passes the condition, then the variable is always false as if it's not a variable anymore. The new variable is always true false when reached inspection detects such cases and provides quick fixes to replace variables with actual values or convert them into constants. Null values are tracked too. Here the initially assigned null value isn't rewritten. The expression is always null inspection lets you replace the variable with the actual value. Another new inspection Condition always evaluates to true will help you locate and simplify overcomplicated expressions. Here, PHP Storm highlights the is array check as redundant, and it can even tell you exactly why it's redundant. Press Alt Enter on the expression and select Navigate to Cause. As you can see, there's another condition above which renders the subsequent check unnecessary. Now we can run the quick fix on the expression and simplify it. The new result of instance of is always true inspection will aid you with getting rid of redundant instance of expressions. Here PHP Storm has detected that third party settings interface is already within the hierarchy of this. Let's look at the classes diagram to check the hierarchy. It looks like our class actually implements third party settings interface. As a result, the condition will always evaluate to true and can be safely removed. PHP Storm even provides a quick fix for it. Press Alt Enter and choose Unwrap If. With the new Control Flow Engine, it has also become easier to infer the resulting type of an expression. Now you can position the caret at an expression and select View Type Info from the main menu or press Control Shift P. PHP Storm will display the type in a pop-up so that you don't need to figure it out yourself. The new Extract class, Refactoring, will help you deal with classes that got cluttered over time with a lot of additional responsibilities. Inside an existing class, position the caret at the property or method you'd like to extract, press Ctrl T, and select Extract Class. Then enter a name for the new class and select the class members to extract. The refactoring will create a new file, inject an instance of the class into the old one via a constructor, and replace the respective method calls. 
Similarly, you can use this refactoring to extract functions from PHP files to new classes, and PHPStorm will update the corresponding function calls with class method calls. We continue to enhance PHPStorm support for Composer JSON. Now you can use custom package repositories in addition to packages. To get started, simply create a repositories node and provide the repository parameters. PHPStorm will scan the custom package's information and display a check mark in the gutter when it's finished. And now you can add your custom dependencies just like any other dependency. You'll notice a couple of enhancements when specifying the package version as well. You can now provide several versions or version constraint expressions and still get the expected code completion. Finally, when you declare a dependency on a code, quality tool, or a test framework, or set a PHP version constraint, PHPStorm will display the icon in the gutter next to it. Click this icon to go straight to the corresponding preferences page. Support for remote interpreters is now available for PHP command line tools as well. The tool setup process is not changed. In preferences, go to Tools, Command Line Tool Support. Here, add a new tool entry and choose one of the pre-configured remote interpreters. And that's it. The tool commands will now run through the selected interpreter. Look for the New Inspections widget in the top right-hand corner of the code editor. This widget displays the number of errors or warnings in the current file. Use the arrow icons or press F2 to navigate forward and Shift F2 to navigate backward. Here you can customize the highlighting level and choose whether navigation should occur between all issues or only the highest priority ones. Click Configure Inspections to quickly jump to the corresponding settings dialog. Starting with 20.2, PHP Storm supports the Open API Specifications plugin. To get started, go to Preferences, Plugins, Marketplace, search for the plugin, and install it. With the plugin installed, you get coding assistance in Open API spec files. What's more, you can use them with the built in HTTP client. When you create a request to run against your API endpoint, PHPStorm will offer completion for the URLs. You can command click a URL to jump to the corresponding path segment definition. You can also use the rename refactoring to rename both the endpoint and its usages in your request. Support for the entire pull request workflow. To get started, select View, Tool Windows, Pull Requests. Here you can see all the available pull requests and start the review process. Assign a reviewer, view the changed files, examine differences in the diff viewer, comment on specific changes, and submit commit level reviews. When you're done, you can merge the request into the target branch, all from PHPStorm. This release will take WSL2 integration a step further. Now when you open a project from WSL, the IDE will detect Git installed in WSL2 and will automatically switch to it. When working with Git, you'll notice a couple of new features. If you have several redundant commits, say for example some that are a work in progress, you can squash them into a single commit before pushing. In the Log tab of the Git Tool window, select Multiple Commits and then select Squash Commits from the Context menu. What's more, you can now drop local commits. Right-click a commit and select Drop Commit from the Context menu. Behind the scenes, PHPStorm will run an interactive rebase to remove the commit from the project history. This sums up the major new features in PHPStorm 2020.2, but there are even more. Learn more on our blog at blog.jetbrains.com slash phpstorm and download the new version from jetbrains.com slash phpstorm. Thanks for watching.